Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to find the mean of fractions. Now, the mean is simply the average. So when you're finding the mean of fractions, you're finding the average of fractions. Now, depending on what kind of fractions that you have, it can get kind of lengthy, so I'm just going to walk you through the general strategy on how to find the mean of fractions. Now, it's basically the same kind of idea. You're going to take all the fractions, add them together, and divide by the number of fractions that are out there. So, for example, if you have 1 half, 2 thirds, negative 1 seventh, I'll just put a negative just for a good measure, and 2 fifths, what you need to do is you need to add all four of these fractions together and then divide by the total number of fractions that there are, which is going to be four. Now, you might be thinking the least common denominator for these, and you're absolutely right because the only way you can add all four of these fractions is to find the least common denominator of all of them. Now, that's probably the length lengthiest of the process, but it has to be done. What you need to do is find the least common denominator of 2, 3, 7, and 5 and go from there. Once you find the least common denominator and you add all the terms together, then it would be time to divide by 4. But what you're really thinking about, though, is just so the 4 doesn't feel left out, write the 4 as a fraction itself, and 4 can be thought of as 4 over 1. What I'm trying to tell you here is, if you're dividing by 4, you're actually multiplying by the reciprocal. So basically what you need to do to find the mean of fractions is add all the fractions, finding the LCD, and in this particular case, multiply by 1 quarter, and that will be it. So basically, add all the fractions and divide by the total number of fractions there are, and you'll find your mean. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to find the mean of fractions.